Hi, I'm Alex Jelena, and I'm here to give you an introduction to FM synthesis. Rather than just talk about it, I'd like to give you a practical demonstration of FM synthesis. First, I'll explain what we're looking at. This is our audio output. Though it's vital in the sense that we need it to hear, feel free to ignore it for the purpose of this demonstration. What we care about is all on the left side here. I'll talk about these two modules first, but I'll come back to this one. The top one is our oscillator. This is generating our tone and it is plugged into our envelope generator. What the envelope generator does is controls the amplitude of this tone. I currently have it set as a gate. What that means is that when I depress a key, it's on, and when I let go, it's off. This is a very brief explanation of these modules, and if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me. Now, let's talk about this. This is a low frequency oscillator. It is oscillating at a frequency which is below what we hear as a tone. You can see the rate at which it's oscillating right here. I will be plugging this into this knob. What this knob does is modulates frequency, frequency modulation. I will show what this does right now. Generally what we use an LFO for is well, vibrato. Alright, so what happens when we do the same thing, but instead of using an LFO, we use another oscillator? This is the basis of FM synthesis. Our first oscillator is known as a modulator. It is modulating the frequency of our carrier. Let's see how this sounds. And that is FM synthesis. Now I'd like to show you how this works with analog equipment. This is the circuit diagram to a voltage-controlled oscillator. This is the physical way of making what we were just using in the previous program. The main component is the 555 timer. You can find the 555 at any local electronic shop, Radio Shack, or what have you. I won't explain exactly what the 555 does, nor will I go in depth on what any of this is doing, but what matters is this 555 chip and this. This is the symbol for a potentiometer a variable resistor, a knob. This is what will allow us to change our pitch. This is what the final circuit looks like when it's assembled on a breadboard. If you look right here, that is the 555 chip. And though it looks like these wires are in no discernible order, there is actually some method to the madness. Red is your positive, Blue is your ground, and yellow and white are just your general connections. Now that was all with one oscillator. Obviously for FM synthesis we need two. We need our modulator and we need our carrier. These are both the exact same oscillator. They're just wired in different spots on the breadboard. I am connecting the two via the green wires. Here's how it sounds. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Thank you.
Thanks again. 